Hey everyone. Um, so, humility. It's one of the things that really endears me to people when I get like a sense that they really have this um, sense of humility about them. Um, I guess, you know, one of two factors. The other would be compassion. Um, and the thing about humility is I think it's, it's uh, a virtue that is really suffered because of its association with religion. Um, and compassion has as well, I think, to an extent, but not to the same extent. Um, and you know, you, you still you still don't, people often put in these kind of things when they give a speech, they're supposed to put in these self-deprecating things or these parts where they thank other people and say, couldn't have done it without these people, and I'm so humbled. But often these kind of come across to me at least as empty rhetorical devices that where you're just checking the boxes so you don't seem like a prick. They don't really seem like um, earnest kind of humility, um, especially probably because the people that are giving these speeches are frequently some of the people that seem to be least likely to be humble. Um, but I think that it has suffered because of its association with religion because one thing one hears often about is as as an atheist I hear often is this criticism of religion oh they think that you're this worm they think that you're born in sin they think that you're horrible they think that you're pathetic but in fact no people are great people are amazing and I mean I do agree with those things um, and the same and then you get this kind of um, I guess human potential movement, this kind of um, self-help movement, this kind of individualism, this new age individualism, where it's all about how you're an individual, how you're amazing, how you're important, how you're beautiful. And again, I mean, I can agree with all of those things, but they should be counterbalanced, but instead they're seen as kind of this opposite or this attack on this religious concept of humility um, whereas I don't see humility I see it as kind of this thing which religion incorporated because it was always something that people appreciated um, well before the first semi-organized religion came around um, and that's because humility to me um, plays a very important role for a person in their individual happiness and it plays a very important societal role. I think the lack of humility of people in society today is part of the issue. Individually, I think it's important because um, because the less humble you are, the more full of yourself you are, the more you expect things to go your way. Um, if you're the greatest person on earth and you don't get everything, then something's going terribly wrong because obviously like the world owes you these things and if you're not getting all of these things despite how great you are um, then obviously that's great reason to be unhappy so being more humble will give you access to more happiness and I'm saying that as someone who is um, obviously not always humble enough at all um, the next thing is for society I think um, Humility has this beautiful thing where it enables cohesion, where it enables cooperation, and where it enables compassion. Because if you are of the opinion that you're the greatest, the best, you're also of the opinion that you deserve everything you get, and you're of the opinion that other people should be in subservient roles uh, to you. Basically, other people should be the supporting actors um, in the me movie um, they should be there to assist you in being a happy fulfilled human being um, and all the stuff you get all the stuff you have is obviously because you deserve it because you're so great um, whereas a humble person would say that's just not the way it is um, I'm very happy for what I have but it's not really necessarily that I deserve it. I'm just in many, many ways lucky. And therefore, they're much more likely to be compassionate um, and also to cooperate with, uh, with other people on an equal level. They're much more likely to see other people as equals. And that's really what I'm talking about when I talk about humility. I'm not talking about thinking of yourself as dirt. 
I'm just I'm talking about thinking of yourself as no better than other people um, and the thing about it is to me why it is it's so these are the reasons why I think it's productive but I also happen to think that it's true it's true on just like a materialistic scientific basis um, as I've discussed in other videos I myself am um, well, I'm either a de I'm basically a non-free willist, um, whether it, things are deterministic or up to random chance. I don't really um, differentiate between. I don't care. Um, but in my view, at least, uh, things are not. Their free will is kind of logically inconsistent. So I've expressed my view as you know we're a product of um, our experiences and the genetics which give us the brain that we have. Um, from that perspective, and you know, that's the perspective that I I hold to because that's where I personally see the evidence leading. From that perspective, um, obviously, one needs to be humble because what one has is in fact um, the result of circumstance, circumstance of birth, and circumstance of post-birth experience. Um, one has not earned these things in any greater sense, you know. Um, and then there's the kind of, it's almost a trite, a trite thing of, you know, look up at the stars, look up at the sun, what are you? And it's, it's gone to, the, to just being a cliché, but it's a very true cliché, and it's kind of unfortunate that things become cliches and then people don't take them seriously anymore because it is in fact true. Your life is uh, a cosmic blink. After that, who knows? Um, nothing, uh, something. But uh, whatever it is, you know, uh, we don't really know. While you're alive, your impact on the cosmos is it's so close to zero that there's not really enough points after the after the decimal uh, sorry after the the, 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 the the full stop thing to really encompass how insignificant you are even just on earth as one of seven billion people there are so few people that would in any way be considered significant um, but even those people in the history of the universe are completely unimportant um, and within a million years of your death even if you're the most important person to ever have lived in the history of human society there's a good chance that you're going to be completely irrelevant so for many kinds of materialistic reasons I think humility is um, the rational attitude to adopt and the reason why I bring it up is because I think it's important and because I think it's um, wrongly maligned. You know, the greed is good movement comes with the sense that pride is good, that you should be kind of proud of yourself in a way that puts you above others. And I think that's dangerous and I think it's incorrect, myself, my opinion. Anyways, Church of SDF.